watching this together, you're like, where's Mark Cotty? He said that Lazio had a chance going into the... Oh, I thought, I'm not, Gab's not here, so I'm not <laughs> going to mention anything. But uh, this is what great teams do. They rebound from bad performances, which it was against Eintracht Frankfurt, and they put in a show like that. There was only a couple of changes. Goretzka came in. Yep. Uh, Musiala, the youngster, came in, got yourself a goal, played well. Sani looked great. As you had mentioned, Sula continued it right back and was up and down that line. It was very professional and efficient and clinical from Bayern. However, it was utterly, utterly embarrassing and yeah. abysmal from Lazio, particularly in the first half. I mean, all right, <laughs> you know, it gives a half-time team talk. They come out Lazio in the second half. They lose a crazy goal. They're now 4-0 down. And all fairness to them, they did respond after that and looked a bit better, but it was gone. Damage Four was away done. goals. The damage was done. I mean, Bayern, Bayern were probably at 75 80%. Much better than the weekend. Not the full steam ahead Bayern that we know. Still without some key players, Gnabry, Thomas Muller. But to go to go away from home still and and win four one, you can't you can't ask for any more than that. But let's be frank, Lazio are not the best. Yeah, Shaka, how do you expect that from a, uh, explain that from a Lazio perspective? Because as we mentioned, there was a little bit of vulnerability from Bayern going into this off the back of the draw against Bielefeld and the defeat against Eintracht Frankfurt. But it seems straight from the kickoff, Lazio were completely intimidated by this tie. Yeah, and, and to, to your question, Dan, I'm not sure how you explain this. This is a Lazio team who uh, are trying to make a fist of things in Syria, uh, turn in good performances themselves. Um, so you wondered. And, and listen, uh, coming into this, you, you know that at their best, Bayern Munich it, it totally outclasses Lazio. But you've seen Bayern Munich stumble over recent weeks. Mm. And if, if you are going to topple the European champions, you want them stumbling, you want you to be at, at your best. And you just feel that, as Lazio, you're thinking, yeah, we've, we've got them right where we want them. We can use this and a good performance here to mount a challenge in the Syria or whatever, or whatever that, that promises. But now you come away from this just thinking, if that's a stumbling Bayern Munich... And that's what they do to us. Uh, you know, it's, this is more than just about Lazio. This is sending, sending a message to the rest of European football that never mind what you've seen, once Bayern Munich are back to their best, once you have the pace of Sané and Koeman and the finishing of Lewandowski and Musiala contributing the way that he has, you just wonder. Who, who can stop them um, over two legs? Who can stop them over, over one if that's what it takes? Shaq, my God, you're getting carried away, man. That's your sex in Serie A, sex. I mean, we're, we're going to watch... We're going to watch Man City play Borussia Mönchengladbach tomorrow. Uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach are six. And I'm expecting Man City, expecting them to clobber them, right? For, for the reason is, they're not the best. Right, Lazio are not the best. So I don't think we should read too... I mean, a great performance, don't get me wrong, if you go away from home and you, you win 4-1 and you play in that manner. But it's not... It's Lazio. They are six in Serie A. I'm expecting that result. I, listen, Craig, I, 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 I totally understand that. And, and that's what I'm saying. All things being even, you know what was coming. But Lazio are trying to put together a run. And they've turned in some good performances, albeit in Syria. Make what you like of that. That's another discussion to be well, had. six. But you just feel that they are mounting a challenge on, on the top four. And all things being even, you know exactly what was coming from Bayern Munich. But they've been stumbling. And, and that's the thing. If you are going to topple a team like Bayern Munich, the European champions, you want to catch them at their weakest. And over the last two weeks... We've probably seen Bayern Munich at their weakest for two years. And then this. And, and, and yeah, that's thankfully the they, thankfully they got Lazio. Their weakest for two years, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, listen, I'm, this is Bayern Munich at their weakest for the last two years. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.